वेलकम टू द लेक्चर ऑन स्टैंडर्ड एरर ऑफ मीन दिस इज बेसिकली अ कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द प्रीवियस लेक्चर ऑन सैंपलिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियो प्लीज वॉच दैट वीडियो एंड अगेन वॉच दिस वीडियो बिकॉज दिस इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट वॉच इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस लेक्चर एज आई हैव शॉन इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर दिस इज द पॉपुलेशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन i discuss in that lecture population mean is mu which is con which is a constant and the standard deviation of the population is sigma we have two sigma here two sigma here it within this mu plus or minus two sigma will consist with 95.4% of individuals Keep in mind, ninety-five point four percent of the individuals here mu plus or minus, as I discussed in the normal distribution lecture, one point nine six nine six sigma will consist with ninety-five percent of the individuals. Individuals. Now we have taken. Ten thousand samples. I discussed that with the previous lecture, and we have drawn the sampling distribution here, where it is another normal distribution which consists with a variable of sample means in which we have the mu x bar, which is the mean of the sampling distribution, which is almost same to the population mean. and i told you the standard deviation of the sampling distribution standard deviation of the sampling distribution is standard error so we have two standard errors here minus two standard error here so all the x bars are here mu x bar plus or minus two standard errors mu x bar plus or minus two standard errors Will consist with ninety five point four percent of not individuals but sample means. In the meantime, as I discuss in the lecture on normal distribution, if you have not watched, please go and watch that video. Mu x bar plus or minus one point nine six. Standard error will consist with ninety-five percent of sample means. Basically, standard error of the mean is the standard deviation of the mean distribution here. So, the mean of the mean distribution, mu x bar plus or minus two standard error, will consist with ninety-five percent for of the means. or sample means this concept is really important to proceed to the next few lectures let's quickly see how to calculate standard error of mean standard error of mean equals standard deviation divided by square root of n very simple so we know that Standard deviation is the square root of variance. So, we, because of that, we can write it as variance divided by n or the sample size, the total square root. Another thing, the standard deviation is actually the population standard deviation. So, we can say that sigma divided by square root of n. Now, we have two questions. Whether it is sigma or sample standard deviation, because in general we don't know about the population standard deviation. Sigma, the population standard deviation. We have a question. In general, do we know the population standard deviation? In general, we don't know the population standard deviation. So the first question is to calculate standard error or the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. Do we need the population standard deviation, or 
can be calculated by using the sample standard deviation. I will dis discuss that thing in another lecture within next few, next few lectures. And other thing is whether this standard error is a constant or not. Because standard error of the mean depends on the sample size. What will happen to the standard error when the sample size is high? What will happen to the standard error when the sample size is low? That is again another lecture I will discuss within the next few lectures. In the next lecture, we will discuss about the standard error of the proportions. Because we have to calculate the standard error for the proportions as well. Thank you very much.